Today, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to make Asian salad dressing. Hi, I'm Aliyah Millam. I'm the founder of the food blog, Premeditated Leftovers, and the author of Prep Ahead Meals from Scratch. Now, in this cookbook, I do have an Asian salad dressing recipe that goes along with this Asian pasta salad that's out of this world, fantastic. But the dressing that I use here uses uh, freshly grated ginger and minced garlic, and it's just a little bit more time consuming. So on busy nights, this is my go-to Asian salad dressing recipe. Okay, so let's get started. I start with a third a cup of olive oil. Now, if you don't have olive oil, you can use your favorite oil, mild oil. Um, if I don't have olive oil, I also use avocado oil. I always have those two oils on hand. Okay, there's a third a cup. That was a little bit slow. That's okay. We're gonna put those over there. And then I use um, rice vinegar. I use a quarter cup of rice vinegar. And it's one of those things that if you, that you're like, do I really need it? I really feel like you do, but here's the thing, once you grab a bottle, it lasts a long time, and you can use it in a lot of different Asian recipes. So I use a quarter cup of uh, rice vinegar. It's just a little bit milder than some of the other vinegars that we have in our cupboard. And I also use a quarter cup of soy sauce. Now, my family is gluten-free, so I use liquid aminos. It's liquid coconut aminos instead of true soy sauce. Most soy sauce has gluten, so we can't have it. But you can use whichever soy sauce or so soy sauce substitute that you like. Now, I use one tablespoon of roasted sesame oil. This is Another thing I always have on hand, in fact, when I was pulling out the ingredients to make this, I realized that I have two backup oils already in my cupboard, so I'm never gonna run out. Okay, so one tablespoon. Now, I do my oil before I do my honey because then the oil makes it a little bit easier to get the honey out. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's one tablespoon of honey. I do two tablespoons. If you don't have honey, you can use sugar or your favorite sugar substitute. Okay. I'm kind of a fan of honey though. All right, I buy that in bulk too. Now I use half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm using a granulated um, garlic, but if you have true garlic powder, you can use that. And we'll put that over there. And then I'm using half a teaspoon of um, ginger. And this is ground ginger. And then one tablespoon of sesame seeds. Now, I keep refilling these jars, but I go to the bulk section in my grocery store and buy um, sesame seeds in bulk. They are so much cheaper per ounce, so that's a great way to save money on those. Okay, now that we have that, all we have to do is put on our lid. You can see I've made this in a mason jar. Okay, so you just shake it, and it's an easy way to mix your dressing. Now, I like to switch out my lid with these little recap lids that fit your mason jars, and that way it makes it really easy to pour your salad dressing right on top of your salad. Okay, I'm gonna plate some salad and get ready to serve my family. If you would like the printable recipe, go ahead and click on the link below this video. Now when you get this recipe, you're going to see that it also has the recipe for the salad. And I call this an Asian chicken salad meal prep because usually when I make this big salad, I put it in individual containers and make it for prep ahead lunches for my husband and my son when they go to work. So if you want to, you can use the recipe to make a huge chicken salad you can enjoy for dinner, or you can use it to meal prep lunches for the week. 
If you haven't already, go ahead and follow me. That way you don't miss any quick and easy recipes.